Now on Nightside, some of you spent Christmas cozy inside while others hit the slopes at Mount Spokane. We were out there to see how the park is doing with the low snow conditions. And tonight, it's a wintry mixed mess moving through the inland northwest. I'll show you how it might impact your morning commute. And the new approach one woman is taking to meeting eligible men and how it involves the holidays. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside, and we begin tonight with a first alert. Your drive to work tomorrow could be icy. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sydney Charles and for Derek Dice on this Christmas holiday. Now, a winter weather advisory is in effect for our area right now. Matt Gray is here with what you need to know, Matt. All right, and we are talking about a wintry mix coming in tonight, and that means that there are going to be some issues out there as we head back to reality with this long holiday weekend coming to an end in the morning. So here is our live radar sweep right now. You notice there are lots of pink colors on there, and this is where our radar and the computer is basically interpolating with the temperatures that we're seeing some sort of wintry mix. Now, whether that's sleet, whether that's freezing rain, whether that's just melting snow that's turning into rain by the time it hits the ground, that part is a little less certain, but I do want to kind of zoom in here a little bit. Notice that this first round of moisture is beginning to move into the Reardon area and is moving towards the Tyler Interchange south of Cheney. And so this is over the next about hour or so is going to work its way into Spokane. And then, well, we'll be able to all see for ourselves in the Spokane area what's coming down. Likely we will start off with something a little bit more frozen, a little more wintry. But as we go through the night, we'll begin to progress towards something that at least looks like rain. And you look across the area and we are been seeing rain throughout this evening in the Ritzville area. Now, whether that is freezing rain has been another point of conjecture, but I've been taking a look at the temperatures here so far, and we are sitting right at freezing in the Ritzville area as well as Lind. And notice as you head further up I-90 towards Spokane, we're also right at freezing. Not as concerned about the possibility for pockets of freezing rains in places like Othello, Moses Lake, and Afredo because we have already warmed up into the middle 30s, and I expect us to stay in that range for the rest of the night. And then, of course, there are road temperatures. After all, freezing rain is when the rain freezes on contact with the ground because of how chilly it is in this very low layer of the atmosphere. And here we go. So basically everywhere from 395 to Lynn, north to Ritzville, into Spokane, and then Highway 2 through Spokane and into the Davenport area. These are the spots we're going to be watching for the rest of the night to see pockets of freezing rain and some pretty slick travel conditions as we are getting up in the morning. This is just the beginning of what will be a night filled with all this wintry mix mess. It's coming up. I'll show you how long that's going to last through the day tomorrow and what you need to be ready for for the rest of this week coming up. All right, Matt, thank you. And while the snowfall may not be off to a good start this winter, the snow we received last week was the perfect Christmas gift for local snowboarders and skiers. That four inches of snow Mount Spokane received last week was enough to save Christmas for those who ski and snowboard. Leading up to the holiday, park officials didn't know if they would even be open. The manager said the ideal amount of snow would have been 12 to 15 inches, but the park made it work. They got creative. The manager said they hauled in snow from the parking lot and placed it in areas that needed more coverage. Limitations were also in place. Only a third of the mountain was open and three of their six lifts were running. That didn't stop people from having fun though. Uh, I think just enjoying the spirit of the season and everybody that came in today was saying, good morning, Merry Christmas, you know, have a great time and we're all here to have fun. And I think all of us enjoy being out in the cold and being in the outdoors and looking at this white, beautiful snow. Now, Jim said the last snowfall was enough for them to remain open at least through New Year's. The park has been posting a conditions report to their website every morning. And for more information on how you can get tickets, you can visit our website at KXLY.com. And Spokane News got into the holiday spirit and holiday fun by reporting that last night hundreds of thousands of burglaries happened in our area, adding that the suspect, quote, ate treats and left behind packages, then fled to the North Pole. And if one of your New Year's goals is to meet the perfect partner, here's a new idea for you. A single Minneapolis woman decided she'd had it with the usual ways of meeting men, so she decided to try a new approach. Jason Rantala explains. Dating apps like Hinge and Bumble, 
are popular ways to find dates in 2023. I know I'm not the only one that had an extraordinarily terrible year on the dating apps. But what if that's just not for you? As 27-year-old Julia McClellan found. It's me, my pup Susie. What may appear as just a traditional Christmas card has an additional message. It says, are you seeing this on my friend's fridge? Are you a single male between the ages of 25 and 35? Hi. I'm Julia. What inspired you for this idea? I'm in marketing and I make music on the side, so I'm like constantly thinking of like creative ways to get a message out. And so I thought, I haven't done that in my dating life. And the dating apps weren't super fun this year, so why not? She has the horror stories. Yeah, they were they were bad. <laughs> to prove it. I think the worst one was a, a guy who was telling me about he had some female coworkers and he was like, you know, I've just decided that women can't make a rational decision. And so I was like, well, I'm about to make a really rational decision about this guy. Since posting to TikTok a few days ago, she's had a few people slide into her DMs. My Instagram DMs are currently um, filling up, which is kind of fun. Um, there's some people that I'm like, oh, that's a scary person. <laughs> and there's other people that I'm like, oh, they're cute. So for Julia, she says it's about breaking out of her comfort zone to ring in 2024. It's fun energy to go into the new year doing something like this. Try something new. You know, you got to try something new in the new year. Jason Rantala. It's on the fridge internet now. Like the, the internet of the fridge is what, what we're, we're calling it now. It's WCCO News. Oh, week 16 of the NFL is now in the books. And as it stands right now, the Seattle Seahawks are slotted into that seventh and final wildcard spot in the NFC. And barring something monumental like a collapse or something like that over the next two weeks, they should be playing in the postseason when it starts in January. Now, Seattle. I think our, I think we've come out of those games because we didn't get screwed up from the losses, which we could have. You know, we could have flipped out and lost our minds. We kept believing that we we could get it done, and so the the resolve stayed stayed intact. And that uh, we were going to have a tough stretch, a tough stretch, but um, you know we control our own destiny, so we need to just take it one game at a time. Now, Seahawks will welcome in the... All right, Alex, thank you so much. And while families around the world were tracking Santa last night, a few kids got a special phone call. And police found a Tacoma woman dead in a park last week. How her family is choosing to honor her memory. That's next on Nightside. And here is that winter weather advisory that will go through 10 in the morning tomorrow, which means we are focusing in on your morning commute. If you are headed back to work on Tuesday or maybe you're just getting out after everything was closed on this Christmas day, we'll show you what to watch out for coming up in your forecast. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. At Furniture Row, a new year calls for a new sofa, sectional, dining group, bedroom, mattress, and more. Because during the New Year's Super Sale, getting it all has never been easier. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings add up. Plus, six years no interest financing. Say goodbye to tired old designs. And ho, to killer new looks at great prices. The New Year's Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. I was only planning to jingle some of the way tonight, but now I think I might be jingling all the way for you. It's never too early for late night cheer. How satisfied are you with your visit with us? I'm not satisfied. Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. It's time to start the new year off right in a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. The new 2024 models are available, which means you can get the best selection now with over 100 great choices and pick the color and package options you like best and take delivery today. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got over three blocks full of great choices. So if you need a safe, reliable winter ride, you can find it at Finley. The After Christmas clearance is on now. This week at all Walker's Furniture locations with year-end blowout savings. For every $1,000 you spend, you save $150. Like when you spend $2,000, you save $300. Or take advantage of our no money down, no minimum purchase special financing for up to five years. So you can get some new furniture for the new year and pay for it later. During the After Christmas clearance at Walker's.
Spokane Wedding Expo is January 6th. For tickets, visit SpokaneWeddingExpo.com. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Well, those are some skiers Marissa Rio met on Mount Spokane today, enjoying the long-awaited snow. And Matt, I mean, what about you? Have you gone out on the slopes yet? Are you going to sometime soon? I'm going to get out there at some point this year. Okay. Um, this is, it's a sport that I really enjoyed when I was working in Montana. Oh. It's started to become less common for me and now that i'm getting older my knees hurt a little bit more than doing that so i realize i actually have to prepare for ski season now that if not my 20s anymore so oh uh gosh. yeah something to look forward to there Wonderful. let's let's go to something that doesn't need as much preparation and that is the weather forecast <laughs> i'm off the rails here on christmas night anyway our weather actually getting a little off the rails here as well this evening as we have lots of pink on the radar. And once again, that is the radar and our computer indicating some wintry mix. So that could be anything between sleet, uh, snow and a rain mix. And of course, the, the big bugaboo here, and that is the freezing rain, which is what we definitely do not want to see. Either way, we are expecting some slippery conditions around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene as we're getting up in the morning as more of this wet weather moves in overnight. Now, the first round, not here yet, but the way things are moving, we expect this right about midnight, we'll start to see the first drops of most likely rain or the first flakes of snow and rain mix, whatever it is, that's when it'll show up. Now, gradually, we'll likely see at least a few snowflakes mixed in here early tonight, and then we will progress slowly but surely through hopefully not too many pockets of freezing rain, but eventually by the end of this, we will largely be all rain in the metro. But there will still be that opportunity for things to be slick and slippery, especially out in those sidewalks and the side roads that don't get treated at all as you go throughout the night. So here are what we expect in the morning. Temperatures will be hovering once again, like they are right now, right around freezing, really slow it down. Take some extra time, use some caution out there in the morning, and watch Good Morning Northwest. Mark Peterson will keep you updated on conditions. Here is the situation as we approach 3 in the morning. We've got snow in places like Omak, Republican, Colville. We've got that wintry mix across the Highway 2 corridor through eastern Washington, and we've got some rain down further south in the Columbia Basin. This is going to be in and out of here fairly quickly, though, so that's a good thing. By the time we hit 6 in the morning, we're starting to see things ease up a little bit, and this is a new update to our forecast computer tonight and you notice that it moves out even a little bit quicker than what we were showing earlier in the day so by the time we get to the end of the morning commute we may be drying out already and that would be a good thing but if you're up early really you got to be careful with that uh, freezing rain potential even if it's just a little sprinkling on top of what otherwise will be mixtures of rain and snow. So as far as snowfall goes, I'm not expecting a lot here. We'll see some slushy conditions up in the northern tier of our viewing area. And I've highlighted the area where we may see those pockets of freezing rain just based on the temperatures we're seeing right now for the rest of the night. So that's from Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, south into the Pullman and Moscow area, over to Ritzville and then north towards the Grand Coulee Dam. Those areas, use that caution there in the morning. Give yourself some extra time built in to keep it slow and safe. Overnight, or not overnight, but for your highs tomorrow will be in the upper 30s, low 40s. We're going to be uh, getting used to that. A couple of nice days here coming up on Thursday and Friday. We'll have a small chance for some wet weather, but it doesn't look like any major systems are on the way as we head through the end of the year and the beginning of 2024. All right, Matt, thank you so much. And you and your little ones might have been tracking Santa with the NORAD Santa Tracker on our website last night. But were you one of the lucky ones that got to chat with President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden? They spent part of their Christmas Eve taking calls from children wanting to know about the whereabouts of Santa Claus. The president posted on X that he got to speak to some excited young Americans curious about Santa's location. 
Well, a judge in the trial of a former Pasco police officer is expected to make a ruling tomorrow. Richard Aguirre is accused of killing a Spokane woman more than three decades ago. Ruby Doss's body was found in a vacant lot in East Spokane in 1986. Both the defense and prosecution gave closing arguments last week. Doss died by strangulation. Her body found in an area known for prostitution. A used condom found at the crime scene had Aguirre's DNA on it. The defense argued there had to have been other condoms in the area as well. Earlier testimony revealed there were not. The prosecution argues DNA evidence points to Aguirre as the killer. And Aguirre's attorneys argues that if Aguirre was the killer, his DNA would have been on the neck of Blouse's of Doss's blouse, rather, and it wasn't. That ruling is expected to happen at 1.30 in the afternoon. We'll be in the courtroom bringing you all the latest information as it becomes available. Last night, two miles south of Moses Lake, a man ran into two parked cars, which lurched forward and hit someone standing close by. That person, as well as someone inside one of the cars, was taken to the hospital. The driver is now facing charges of vehicular assault. And just a few miles outside of Afreda, a drunk driver lost control of her car, which rolled off the road and into a ditch. She was life flighted to the hospital. She was not wearing a seatbelt. And around the northwest, Tacoma police found a woman dead last Monday morning. And last night, the family of Nari Tusi held a candlelight vigil to honor her memory. Julie Calhoun reports. Candles, photos, and loved ones lined Oakland Madrona Park, where Nari Tusi was found murdered Monday morning. This is definitely not God's plan for her life. This is most definitely the devil's plan for her life. Her sister Natasha says she was full of life with friends who love her dearly and a huge part of a large, tight-knit family. She left behind seven babies, all under 10 years old. Those children now having to grow up without a mother, and the rest of Nari's family trying to cope with their loss. We all loved her. We miss her dearly. Our hearts are shattered. I'm, you know, I don't know how I'm not, I'm not crying right now because I've just been so shattered with the loss of my sister. According to Tacoma Police, officers responded to the area shortly after 8.30 Monday morning and found her dead. Detectives ruled her death a homicide, but little details available of what exactly happened or who her killer could be. Nari's family also feels left in the dark. We don't know any information. We don't have any leads. We don't know anything, you know, nothing. And they're calling for answers and justice for the 31 year old. And I hope um, the police department and the detectives working her case are diligent and do their job and, you know, help bring my sister justice because she really didn't deserve this. And as Christmas this year brings a heavy loss. Holidays will never be the same for us. Never. Nari will never be forgotten. We miss her. It just doesn't feel real. It's unreal that we're here. And the results are in the holiday movie you voted as the Inland Northwest favorite. That's next on Nightside. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This year, treat yourself to a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. We've got lots of great choices. And every vehicle sold comes with Toyota Care. So you can get a new reliable vehicle in 2024 from Finley. The After Christmas Clearance is on now, this week at all Walker's Furniture locations, with year-end blowout savings. For every $1,000 you spend, you save $150. Like when you spend $2,000, you save $300. Or take advantage of our no money down, no minimum purchase special financing for up to five years. So you can get some new furniture for the new year and pay for it later. During the After Christmas Clearance at Walker's. It's we'll buy your car time at Auto Nation. We'll buy your car. We'll buy your truck. We'll buy your SUV. Get tip top dollar for your car right now because, well, we need every vehicle we can get. Plus, you don't have to buy one from us. Visit AutoNation.com or see us in store for an easy appraisal. We'll give you a check on the spot or pay you with Zelle the same day, deposited and done. And in case you missed it, AutoNation will buy your car today. So get here like now. KXLY celebrates 70 years of serving you, a pioneer in broadcasting and now the digital age. We've covered historic moments, made history ourselves, and kept our commitment to you and our community. Thanks for watching, and here's to the next 70 on KXLY. Whatever the holidays mean to you, 
get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. For News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. The results are in, and the people of the Inland Northwest have spoken. The winner of our festive film face-off is White Christmas, but only by three votes. It's a Wonderful Life was right behind it in second place. Many of the movies that didn't make it to the final round are still holiday favorites, and three of them are celebrating big anniversaries. Chris Connolly explains. You sit on a throne of lies. But it's the truth. This holiday marks the 20th anniversary of two Christmas time classics. Will Ferrell's heartwarming and hilarious Elf. Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. And it's 2003 Yuletide sibling, Love Actually. And this is Natalie. She's new, like you. The Christmas-powered rom-com whose multiple couples have enchanted viewers for two decades now. Time and time again, we forget that love is all that matters. And true love lasts a lifetime. A pair of films made 20 years ago that are still perfect Christmas presents. Hey, okay. Master Ralph Parker. And look what holiday movie came down the chimney 40 years ago. Oh, I want red undercover and I should you want to get rid of my rifle. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. A Christmas story. <laughs> he looks like a deranged Easter bunny. <laughs> a cold weather comedy. I triple dog dare you. With its own North Pole. Duck, duck. Three pillars of reliably great Christmas time entertainment. An animal shelter in Pennsylvania received a very special Christmas gift this year, empty kennels. The Adams County SPCA says for the first time in 47 years, they have zero dogs at the shelter. They've adopted out almost 600 animals this year and reunited 125 strays with their owners. Well, some scientists say they've cracked the code to make the perfect cup of coffee. Some coffee connoisseurs are known to add a little water to the beans before grinding them. So scientists at the University of Oregon explored that technique. They found that adding water helps prevent microscopic clumps of coffee, which increases what experts call the extraction yield, basically giving a more consistent, flavorful brew. brew. Researchers say the method is more pronounced with espresso and less so with filtered coffee. At a full slate of NFL and NBA games on Christmas Day. Coming up in sports, Alex Resenti shows us the actions from around the leagues. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. ABC brings you one of the best shows in years. Rock rocks the boat. As we celebrate music's highest honor. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Featuring electric performances and iconic inductees. Cheryl Crow, Willie Nelson, Shaka Khan, George Michael, Rage Against the Machine, Kate Bush, Missy Elliott, and so many more. To be standing here means so much to me. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Monday, January 1st on ABC and stream next day on Hulu. The After Christmas clearance is on now, this week at all Walker's Furniture locations, with year-end blowout savings. For every $1,000 you spend, you save $150. Like when you spend $2,000, you save $300. Or take advantage of our no money down, no minimum purchase special financing for up to five years. So you can get some new furniture for the new year and pay for it later. During the After Christmas clearance at Walker's. I'm Mark Peterson, the Extreme Team and Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on our next job. If you know of a project that needs an Extreme Team makeover, go to KXOY.com to nominate it. Our thanks to Horizon Credit Union for sponsoring the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Spokane's hottest music. Hot 96.9. Whatever your plans are this season, 
do more in a new Chevy. Or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $239 a month. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Well, Christmas Day means we have a full slate of games between basketball and football. Welcome into sports. I'm Alex Crescenti. In the NFL, they wrapped up Week 16 with a trifecta of games, but we're going to begin action in the NBA as the defending champion Denver Nuggets welcomed in the 2022 champions, the Golden State Warriors. Early in the first quarter, former Washington State Cougar Clay Thompson with a catch and shoot three. He scores the first six out of ten points for Golden State. In the second quarter, Warriors with the lead. Jamal Murray is going to miss this straightaway three, but Aaron Gordon put back dunk to tie this game back up. Clay didn't have the best game of his life today, but did come up with some big shots when the Warriors needed it. In the 30, buries a three from the wing to make it a one point game. Thompson finishes with only nine points. But the fourth quarter, that's where Denver really put their foot on the accelerator. As former Gonzaga Bulldog Julian Strother with a nice little floater that goes, he, that would be the only bucket he has on the day, but it comes at a crucial time. A couple possessions later, Murray with the drive to the basket finishes with this reverse layup. Just nasty. He leads all scores with 28 points, and he looks to be 100% after coming back from a hamstring injury. Then with under a minute to go, Nuggets just looking to finish this game out. Nikola Jokic says, get out of my way. No one's going to stop him there. He finishes with the dunk, and Denver wins on Christmas Day, 120 to 114. They stay in second place in the Western Conference. With a team like that, with the personnel that they got, uh, the experience that they got on the other side, uh, you know, we had to come prepared and, um, you know, buckle down defensively. I thought Mike did a great job. Everybody, honestly, it was a team effort, and um, that's the kind of mental focus that we need throughout the season. Now let's head out to Los Angeles where LeBron James and the Lakers hosted their arch rival, the Celtics, for a Christmas Day showdown. In the first quarter, this was all Boston as Jason Tatum buries a three, and the Celtics go up by 16, but... It's hard to keep LeBron out for long. In the second quarter, he gets a triple of his own as L.A. starts creeping back into this game. A few minutes later, it's going to be the former Zag, Bold, uh, Rui Hachimura, driving to the basket and finishing with the dunk. But he's not done yet, though. A few possessions later, the Lakers in transition. James finds Hachimura behind the Celtics defenders. That's another score for the Zag. Fast forward to the fourth quarter now off an L.A. turnover. Celtics moving quickly. Derek White with the alley-oop to Tatum. And the Celtics go up by 12 and closing in on the win. On the other end, Rui was doing his best to keep his team in this game. A three right here brings his total to 12, but that's not nearly going to do it because on the other end, Derek White caps off this performance with a dunk of his own. And the Celtics improve to 23-6. and six. They own the best record in the league. Just how we responded, right? We jumped out on them early. Uh, and they're a really good team. They got great players. We knew that they were going to respond. Uh, and it's just a big win, right? It's Christmas Day, and it's tough to win on the road. So just the way we responded and executed late in the game. Now, the once immortal Kansas City Chiefs suddenly find themselves looking very human lately. Losers of three of their last four. And for the first time in the Patrick Mahomes era, it appears they're going to have to go on the road in the playoffs if they want to get back to the Super Bowl. Today, they hosted division rival Las Vegas. The Raiders still mathematically in the playoff hunt, but still a long way to go from there. And there is fan favorite Taylor Swift in the box. Uh, in, of course. Right now, there's just so much happening in our world. So much at stake at the start of every morning. Making sense of it all, that's not always so easy. And that's where we come in. Good Morning America. We want you to know every morning. We're right here, and we got you. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me. Three, two, one. New Year's Rockin' Eve is popping off 
Live with epic performances by 30 Seconds to Mars, Ellie Golden, Green Day, Janelle Monet, Ludacris, New Jeans, Post Malone, Renee Rapp, and more. Ryan Seacrest with co-host Rita Ora, Diana Torres, and Jeannie Ma. It's the biggest party of the year. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. Live on ABC. I'll save it for next year. The After Christmas Clearance is on now. This week at all Walker's Furniture locations with year-end blowout savings. For every $1,000 you spend, you save $150. Like when you spend $2,000, you save $300. Or take advantage of our no money down, no minimum purchase special financing for up to five years. So you can get some new furniture for the new year and pay for it later. During the After Christmas Clearance at Walker's. This year, treat yourself to a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. We've got lots of great choices, and every vehicle sold comes with Toyota Care. So you can get a new reliable vehicle in 2024 from Finley. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. And it will be a busy night on live Doppler radars. We see, well, a little bit of everything. Some snow, some rain, some in between. And the bottom line here is that we'll likely see some slippery conditions as you head out the door in the morning. Go ahead, start planning a little bit of extra time for your commute. If you are headed back to work tomorrow, right now. Now, good news here, even though you see on the screen, it's 80% chance of rain. That is true. It will be a messy start to the day, but a good chunk of the day looks like it's going to actually end up fairly nice. And we have some pretty quiet conditions then as we have for the rest of the week and into the weekend. And then, hey, guess what? It's another three day weekend. Yep. We're back <laughs> for New Year's. Should be fun. We'll keep an eye on a small chance for showers around that time. All right, Matt, thank you so much. And hey, before he delivered presents to children all over the world, Santa scheduled in some time with an adorable resident at the San Antonio Zoo. The zoo shared this video on social media on Saturday. It shows Santa meeting the baby sloth, Aluna. He tells Aluna that in order to end up on his nice list, she will need to keep her tree and nest clean and go to bed early. Zoo staff have also created an Amazon wish list for Aluna and her fellow animals, just in case. Santa didn't bring them everything they wanted. Oh my gosh, how adorable. How cute, Aluna. Oh my goodness. I'm it's gonna so have, small. I'm gonna have to call this back later. My wife loves sloths. So. Oh. <laughs> the little so noises cute. they make too? Oh, just adorable. Yeah. What noises do they make? It's like almost like a squeaking noise. I'm not gonna try it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. It's, it's, Christmas. it's Christmas. Give us one. On. Give us one. Like or, I don't know. <laughs> um, is there any animals that would be on the naughty list? Ooh. Mm. Other than our dogs, Alex? Ooh, that's, yeah. Well, uh, Burrow barely made the cut on the good good list this year. Barely. <laughs> yeah, you know? my, my, my two were the same. Oh, my gosh. They were, they were riding the line all week. Oh, my gosh. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us on 4 News Now Nightside. For updates, you can follow us on kxly.com.